1,952. God, that dude should have just killed me. Well, how much is the settlement? Uh, the settlement, sir, I could directly, if you're willing to, I could knock off uh, half of the bill for you, sir. For $900? Uh, so then the bill is $1,952. Say we could t approximately close this at around um, $1,000, sir. Leave it. And I could waive off the remaining $952. Is that the only one you have on me? See, because uh, I see this treatment was uh, given to you, I believe, at uh, the Christus, uh, yeah, Christus Hospital. So if you, if you, if you don't think, and we don't need the thousand dollars today, I can give you time uh, to come up with it. How long, means how much time would you need if you want to go in for the settlement to come up with the thousand dollars? About five months. Do, can you mail me the paperwork? So there are already four papers, four, four bills that have been mailed to you. This office, uh, this particular file, this bill is, is in collection since February. Yeah, so but can you, you can you mail it to the right address? Uh, what is your, your meeting address, Mr. Castle? It's Box 405, P.O. Box 405, in Port Bolivar, B-O-L-I-V-A-R. Just make sure that it goes 77650-0405. It's too late. Oh, my social security 0296. You're going to put it on my social security? It's already on your record. It's, uh, anyone reviewing your record would see you have an unpaid medical bill from the past seven for 700 days uh, plus, which is in collection. Now, after 700 days, approximately then it gets reported as a bad debt as well. So that will follow down in fact your, your overall FICO score if you go to see Mr. Castle. That's You're gonna ruin my life. Um, it's gonna ruin my life. I, I can't even sleep right now. It's killing me. The doctors have given you two years. It's more than two years. How much more time you need a child? At that time, if you would have worked out a hardship arrangement, something, let it be, it could have been a $10, $25, one-year plan, two-year plan. This bill would have not reached at this stage. That is why our clients are giving you the opportunity where they were waiving off 50% of the balance to help you take care of this. But at this stage, you're telling me send the letter, then you think about it. It's not going to be, it's not going to look. Because I told you, from February till August, you count the number of months this bill has been in my office. And we've already, unfortunately, we had the wrong address. So 
the letters have been going up from the doctor's time till now at 324 Edison Avenue. So Mr. Gatsby, you have time for the thirty and if you could work out something, give us a call. Because at the end sir, our our main uh, motto is to you know have a resolution given to the customer before uh, it goes, uh, you know, before major the impact. Where were you sending the mail? Where were you at what avenue? Uh, at 324 Atlanta Avenue at Netherlands, Texas 77627. Well, this is a place where. But don't you have the new address now? So that's what I'm saying. I have the new address, but uh, you tell me today is the 16th. But through a regular mail, it's going to take you. See, we have the weekend as well. We have Saturday, Sunday. So, by the time you receive this, would be latest by the 25th, again, if not the 25th, you would get it on a Monday, which is the 28th. Then that gives you three days of time. Tell me, would you be able to, uh, I mean, say, I'm giving you all the information of this book, but do you think in three months of time, three days of time, you could come up with $1,000? If it's workable, tell me, I would go the extra mile and have it sent out. But any day after the 31st, you call it. This file is not going to be in our office with the castle, right? As I said, that's the reason, so our own I could have certainly said no worries with the castle. I'll send you the bill. I can call you by the 31st, and then accordingly you could check, check, let me know how you want to take care of it. But at this stage, so it means everything, I would not want to waste your time either, uh, you know, uh, of mine, because uh, having all these correspondence sent out once again, with no outcome of mine at all, when it's not going to be in my office, and when it's going to go uh, on the next level of collections. Um, I'm going to kill myself. The doctor told me he was going to save my life. He didn't tell me he was going to ruin it. Oh my God, I'm fixing to blow my brains out. I can't even sleep anymore. Oh my God. Please don't ruin my life. The doctor didn't deny it. Now, when it's come to a payback time, you're shocking off. So, Mr. Drew, Mr. Castle, it's a clear indication you're just giving us a runabout. I just tag it as a refuse to pay. And down the line, if you want to take care of it, see, you could call up the, I mean, say you could pull up a record. I mean, say from experience or from me, in fact, check which, so where this bill is going to be at and how it's impacting you. So, accordingly, you could check it. Because once it's driven off and once it goes as a bad set, uh, so then it's very difficult to pull out the account and have it taken care of. I understand, sir, you have a long way ahead to go. Uh, so that's what the reason I am spending my time making you to try to make you understand. If you can take care of it by the 31st, nothing like it. Or else, sir, this would go as a pending issue on your record. All right, Mr. Cassidy, that's what I have to say for my behalf. If I kill myself, do I still owe the money? <laughs> do I still have to pay the money if I kill myself? Y'all won't take the money out of my bank account, will you? Do y'all know my bank account number? The situation you have reached, Mr. Castle, the situation that you have reached in at the moment is the situation that you have put yourself in. I didn't mean to put myself in it. The doctor told me he was going to say, I didn't mean to do that. He said he was going to save me. He didn't say he was going to ruin my life. Mr. Castle, Mr. Castle, neither am I trying to be rude or... You know, but I don't want to give you any wrong information because I'm a debt collector, I'm a licensed collector, and I've been collecting for years. So, uh, unfortunately, so there's nothing I could do. If you could do something by the 31st, give us a call. We'll see what best we could help you with. Till then, sir, you have a great upcoming week. Bye for now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't hang up. No. Oh, he hung up. Well, I got the social security number. The address, oh my goodness, and my name ain't even Charles Castle. It is Wilford Rainey. I don't know why they keep calling me like that. All right, thanks, Bubba.